So is now the time? Should I? Yeah. Yeah. So, so um, just so that you're not left with the impression of like the relationships are very lopsided. Um, if you are on the other side and you're wanting more future vision, you're wanting your partner to hold more possibility, right? Instead of just appreciating it how it is, you're wanting them to get on board with like, yeah, let's make it better, right? Let's actually get on that train to evolve ourselves and grow and use our relationship to do that. If you live there and you're in your shadow of complaint, how do you get your partner to give you more future vision and more possibility? And there is something for for you to do if you're in that role. You know, we showed you what there was for Brian to do to get more appreciation, which was to provide future vision. So what there is for me to do, if I want future vision from Brian, what there is for me to do is give the opposite virtue ingredient. If I'm complaining, then I need to bring appreciation, right? And so what there is for me to do in this in instance is to bring that, that mother love, right? The, the present perfection. And, and so if we were to, if we're applying that to this moment, it's, it, it goes something like this. Um, uh, one, just thank you for being open and willing to have me feel more partnered. Mm -hmm. And um, I just want to appreciate like the only reason we're in this together is you're holding your hand and, reaching out and saying and inviting me in and inviting me in to take on half of this business with you mm -hmm. and that you've been an advocate and um, an instigator of our partnership mm -hmm. from the get-go. Mm -hmm. So just let me just appreciate like how much I already see your positive intentions on holding our partnership. Mm -hmm. right? And to the point where it's like we're not we wouldn't even be in this partnership if it weren't for you mm. making that invitation mm. right so part i'm going to say more but so that's like a piece of it right i'm appreciating the present state as it is acknowledging all of the past that led us to where we are here and um so i'll do a little more well i was yeah. just going to say that yeah just like the other way around um, you know, if you, you imagine we're kind of in this heated yeah, thing and thing. she's like, why did you do this? And I'm like, but I did it for how dare years. you send an email with I and how could you? And it's we and I keep telling you and it's the 50th time <laughs> like that. Right. And then if she somehow <laughs> stopped and said that in the middle of that moment, yeah, I'd stop and I go, OK, well. First of all. I totally should have used we. Like, yeah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. the very, it's the very, the the very na natural It's natural, right? Is to give exactly Because that. I'm yeah. acknowledging and, 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 and appreciating his positive intent. I'm not failing to realize that um, there is no, like, so I would say, like, you don't have a malicious bone in your body. <laughs> I know. This one's malicious. Oh, is it? It can be, maybe. No. <laughs> See, it's just even in joke, even in jest. Yeah. Well, the lightness. Yes. Uh, but I'm, I'm just called to acknowledge where. Yeah, he's, you're not. You know, See, like I'm appreciating your yeah, acknowledging. It's just, I'm it's appreciating so funny. your acknowledging. It's like an automatic response. This is what happens. Yeah. And so I just want to appreciate that I, I, I get that you had no malicious intent behind that. You weren't meaning to hurt me. You weren't trying to hurt me. Like I just want, like I, I just know that in my bones. And I appreciate that that is where you were coming from. And to go further, so now I'm wanting to bring like present profession, like a sane, rational person could have made that choice. And it doesn't mean he's wrong, right? Just because I have a preference that we use we, I don't have to also make him wrong for it. So it might sound something like, and I can imagine that you're saying I as a way to be like accountable, and like own and have ownership, extreme ownership. And since you're the one writing it, at the time it was you doing the writing, it felt natural for you to be accountable. Right. And I just I appreciate that your come from included being accountable and responsible and having ownership. And that that might have been more uh, a part of why you chose and had been choosing I and a lot of your emails than me. And that's a legitimate perfectly rational and reasonable thing to choose. There's nothing wrong with it. I may want us to be partnered. I may be asking for the we, but I also want to appreciate your choice. Mm -hmm. Right. So, so there I am 
again, appreciating him. If I want him to be on board with this vision of using we, like, hey, I have this new idea. We're going to be partners and our, our, our messages are going to say they're from both of us. Mm-hmm. If I, I'm not going to be able to get him on board to that future vision and that new restructuring of how we do things, if I'm berating him for how he is now. But the moment I'm sort of acknowledging and appreciating it and saying, okay, I get it. From there, he can listen and hear my requests. Right. Without that, it's really hard to hear that request because all you want to do is defend. But now that I'm even taking up the position of defending it for him, mm-hmm. right? In a way, I'm like, I'm defending his choice. Mm-hmm. So he doesn't have to. Mm-hmm. You see why that unwinds it? So now that I'm appreciating it, saying that here's why that's a completely normal, rational choice, it's easier for him to go, oh, she gets me. She understands me. She appreciates my choice. She's still asking for something different, but she's appreciating me. So now I can entertain it without feeling attacked and made wrong. So this is what someone who wants more future vision can do is they provide to their partner more appreciation. And so each of these create this beautiful virtuous cycle where the more I do appreciation for him, the more he wants to come on board and say, yeah, well, let's do that. And yeah, I, that, I think that's one of the great uh, counterintuitive pieces yes. about appreciation itself is that um, even though it seems like complaining more about a thing is more likely to make a change, that um, there's more change possible when you appreciate something than if you don't. Yeah. Um, and if you really appreciate uh, the fullness of a thing and the fullness of a person, their willingness to be vulnerable to see where they could improve and to make commitments to make changes. In fact, to be more generous with that change with you just skyrockets as a natural, Mm -hmm. uh, you know, sort of natural response. So oddly enough, appreciating something for how it is, is more likely to make a change than, um, and then then pointing out all the ways that it's not the way it should be. Yeah. So just notice the reciprocal remedy that's available when you realize that this complaint defense dynamic is in a pull, in a tug of war, yeah. and um, we're each are pulling harder and harder, keeping that tug of war and all that tension in place. And when you realize adding the reciprocal virtue is is the key. So we just want to, uh, and and that is true for all of the relational dynamics that are at the core of every fight we've ever seen. They're not all complaint defense fights, but like again, there are eight poles, four polarities that arrange themselves to create these toxic cycles or feed themselves. And so um, we're focusing today on the appreciation part and how to get more of that. Um, But there are many, um, many others.